Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Claire and if you are new here, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. And if you're returning, hello and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be doing a power hour. Uh, you know, due to the lockdown, I've got a lot of spare time on my hands, although still a lot of things seem to not be getting done. And Leo has started just running around, pouring all of his toys onto the floor, like not even playing with them, just really throwing them around. So he has added to my cleaning up time by a lot. I've been trying to clean the mess that I see, so if I notice that something's dirty, I'm trying my hardest just to like, in that very moment, go get a sponge and spray and clean it there and then. It's somewhat working for me, but a lot of the times I've got a hundred tasks on at once, whether it's YouTube or Leo related, or if it's, you know, replying to emails or whatever, I've always got some kind of other task, so I'm struggling, but I am trying to live in the do it as you see it kind of lifestyle. So this is what our living room looks like, like 99.9% .9 of the time. This is what I mean about Leo getting all of his toys out at once. I've started to do that. You can't get that out until you tidy this up. And it somewhat works, but sometimes he catches me off guard. So yeah, this can take me up to an hour to clean at the end of the night, depending how bad he has made the room. So I guess it's maybe time to put some toys away we've not got a lot of space and i'm really overflowing so i'm struggling like a lot but i'm working on it all those little blocks that i'm currently tidying away are like little um threading bleeds almost and they are so sharp if you accidentally stand on them and also if anybody's like admiring my rug which i doubt you are it's a shaggy rug and i really really don't recommend you getting one you will watch the dirt jump out of them like it's fleas when you try and hoover it they it's just impossible to hoover this rug i mean i shake it out i honestly it's just such a nightmare to clean and things get stuck in it and honestly if you ever like lose a toy check your rug first because trust me it'll be in there so yeah if i was to make a video of my worst and my best buys this would be top of the list for the worst buys i really really hate this rug anyway because it's nice and sunny and warm i decided i would hang my washing up outside it just helps it dry that much quicker sorry if you can hear an ice cream van in the background we have an ice cream van that drives around like every single day whether it's raining or it's snowing or it's icy outside so yeah that's fun but anyway um i'm still absolutely loving this woolen duster it's just like a life changer it makes cleaning appliances so much easier the last thing you want to do is rub dust into vents of dvd players or xboxes so just having a duster that flicks the dust off and then you can hoover up afterwards is absolutely awesome I don't know if it's just me, but I don't feel like vacuum cleaners are amazing on hard floors. I feel like the dust runs away from them. So I always like to stick to the old fashioned way by sweeping and then mopping. And then, you know, I just feel like this picks it up a little bit more. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. And I had to laugh at my fail when I squirted the flash in there, it just totally failed for me. <laughs> On my journey to being more eco, I'm just using up any cleaning products that I have bought in the past, which is actually saving me so much money this year because I haven't had to buy any cleaning products other than like washing up. I had a huge collection of cleaning products because I was a bit of a hoarder. I actually have a video on my channel from when I first started about my cleaning product collection. So yeah, it's a good idea to use some of them up, although I am a bit like miffed that I'm having to use chemicals on my floor but I'm just kind of seeing it as that my floor will be like extra super clean and then I can move on to my nice eco supply that I'm really looking forward to and I guess it motivates me to clean a bit more than I usually do because then I can use up the cleaning products quicker but I also don't like to be wasteful I normally only do jobs when they're necessary because it's just not good to waste cleaning products and pour them into the environment for no reason really.
So I have a few videos on my channel and I normally feature these hobs because they are the most stubborn stains that we've probably got in this house. But if you like seeing the cleaning with the pink stuff, I have quite a few pink stuff videos for you. I will try and link them in the eye above and also below in the description box for you. I've got reviews and I've also got some ideas of how you can use the pink stuff around your home that you may not have thought of. Um, I definitely love the pink stuff. I love how it froths up and that you don't really need much of it. It just really, really cleans well. And although I am applying quite a bit of elbow grease to get those extremely burnt on stains off, it's so much easier than trying use any other cleaning product that you could possibly use so yeah i really enjoy the pink stuff and i love that it's eco-friendly and not tested on animals Okay, before you see exactly how clean these hobs are, I'm just gonna give you a little flashback of to how dirty they were. Oh dear, look at the grease. <gasps> look at how burn it on it is. And now look at the shine. I don't think I've ever seen these hobs that shiny. I really scrubbed them this time around. <laughs> So this is gonna make you laugh. I actually found a cheese spread bottle in Leo's room. He must have picked it out of the recycling bin. How lovely the things that you find in your toddler's room. And as well, you can see that he's just been tipping his toys out all over the floor, as per usual. This is just a new habit that he has picked up in the past few days, and it's really quite annoying. I think it might be a bit of an attention thing, I'm not quite sure, but you can see he really liked that cheese spread, you know, he picked it up straight away. You know, he must really like that cheese spread bowl, so. We've clicked on a cleaning video, but right there, Leo pretended that that magnetic wheel thing was lip balm, and he sees his daddy applying lip balm every single day. So this is something that's very noticeable in children's development is that they like to mimic and it's actually a really good sign and it's really quite sweet to watch. I found that Leo's home kitchen actually comes as quite handy storage. It's the perfect place to store Leo's puzzles, tea set and books and also any kind of home kitchen kind of things like his biscuits or his eggies. And yeah, I just thought this is a cool way and that way he can point to what he'd like instead of being able to reach them all. Although he is getting taller and he's definitely had a growth spurt so that's not going to last forever. But hey ho, while it works, it works. And ta-da, the living room is nice and clean and fresh and it just looks and feels and smells amazing now. Having the balcony door open really helped air it. And then I'm finishing off with my sewing corner. This corner is always gathering stuff. Um, you know, I think it's just because when I sew something, I tend to leave it out and not put it away. My most recent project was actually my sewing machine cover, so yeah. And then this is the table of doom. This is just kind of a dumping ground. We are looking to move this table into Leo's room as it is a vintage desk. It was actually his auntie's when she was a little girl because she was homeschooled. And that's it, the timer is done. It for this power hour. I really hope that you enjoyed watching and that I have inspired you to go do some cleaning. I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel to stick around for more. I feature lots of cleaning and mum life on my channel. Pretty much a lot of different things on my channel. You may find it very interesting. So definitely check out my videos and consider subscribing. It really does mean a lot to me when you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.